Good evening. Tonight I'm going to be graphing one more sine graph. And before we start, let's just analyze the components. So the value of a is going to be 2. b is going to be pi over 2. That's going to give us the period. The phase shift is negative 3. And the displacement, vertical displacement, is positive 5. Um, am I going to have enough room here? Yeah, I will. That's a good thing. Very good thing. Don't forget to label your graph. Um, okay, and where do these letters come from? Just to remind you guys, the format, the standard format here that we're using, a sine b x minus c plus d. So the letters a is 2, b is pi over 2, c is negative 3 in this case because we switched the value. It's negative C plus D. I'm gonna, I'm gonna erase that though. Just wanted to show you guys, just in case. So A is two, meaning that the amplitude is two. B is gonna give us the period because the period is always two pi over the absolute value of B, but B is positive in this case, so it's okay. Two pi over pi over two, the pi's are gonna cancel out, and two times two over one because we need to flip the bottom, right? multiply by the reciprocal, that's going to be equal to 4. Um, actually, let me do that in slow motion over here. Then I'm going to erase it later. 2 pi divided by pi over 2 is the same thing as multiplied by 2 over pi. Pi's cancel out. 2 times 2, 4. So let's erase that. So I have more room for the graph. Okay, so vertical displacement, so period is 4, great. Vertical displacement is 5, meaning that the s vertical center of the graph be right here at positive 5 and sine the amplitude is 2 so it's going to go up by 2 units and down by 2 units so that's th that's going to be the maximum that's going to be the minimum and um, okay sine normally starts at the vertical center and then it rises C is negative 3 here so we're going to go to the right or to the left by 3 we're going to start right there. So let me pick just a random color here for, this, for the graph. Oh, this one. It's all right. <laughs> we'll do the job. Um, OK, so the period is 4. So one full period will go just from here to over there. It's going to be a, a, a small graph. I might even continue to do more than one period just to illustrate it. and. Um, so it's always great to split up the period of the graph into four equal parts. So this is one full period, so we can break it down into half here and then into quarters. So we always sine always starts here at the center, the vertical center, then it rises. After a quarter period, it goes up to the maximum, quarter period over, hits the middle again, quarter period over goes all the way down to the very bottom then it rises up to the middle again quarter period over so it will look like this oops well, actually that was nice before but okay I don't like this part I kind of like this then that's one full period already but I can actually just keep going a little bit longer just to give you guys an idea of what it will continue to look like. Oops. Yeah, and it will keep on going forever that way and this way also. Um, hopefully that made great sense. And we have similar graphs right here with great visual links that you guys can take a look at. Um, have a great day.